Hello people, welcome to uh, SQL on my previous video about LinkedIn Easy Apply Bot. The reason I am doing uh, this update video is because in my previous videos I used code from Nathan and uh, for some reason he has abandoned the project and then thereafter his code was not working perhaps due to some changes on the Google Chrome and uh, some other changes may be on LinkedIn so eventually his code was uh, broken and then this guy took over his code uh, and then he has made some changes and then we are back on track so that is reason number one I am doing an update and then in this one I want to uh, redo a sort of quick recap so new watchers or new viewers can see what I'm talking about so with this aside uh, I will first of all I will post this link in the description of the video so you can open this page and download this bot this bot is basically a Python script but then you have to do some minor configurations if you see here you have to put some basic information which is self-explanatory and then this bot will be good to go so the first thing first we will download the code in zip format uh, by clicking here on download zip I have done that already in my case I believe it's not uh, deleted yeah so once it is downloaded I will just right click and extract all in the meantime this is extracting my zip files so we'll go to second step to run this code or python script we need python and for python i will recommend you guys use ide which is uh, for layman it is sort of a graphical interface to run python if you just download the raw python then it will be something like this command line so you'll have to type all the commands again it's not a big deal for this project but I think it's better if you guys use IDE um, in my opinion the best and the free one is called PyCharm and just say for Windows and you will hopefully see the first link from jetbrains.com click on it it will take you to the download page and from there we need to download the community edition because this one is free and uh, quite like more than enough to run the python code we have downloaded we don't need these advanced features so that's one reason so just click on download and in my case i have done that as well so this one is here pycharm right and in the meantime our files have also um, like uh, extracted now with this after downloading we will need to install the python so we'll just double click very easy straightforward so we will just do next and then select some default options so check this one this is about bin folder uh, bin basically binary Then we need to uh, check this uh, desktop shortcut, not absolutely necessary. And then we will create associations for all .py files, all Python script and with .py. If you don't understand, then just select, uh, do the same as I've done. And we'll just do install next and install. Again, it will take a while. So I'll post a video, uh, I mean stop the video here until it is ready. all right so this is done you can reboot in my case i've already done this so i'll just click i mean uh, i'll do, uh, select the second option and do the restarting later now uh, python environment is also installed you can check it uh, by typing pycharm in a start menu you will see this uh, application ready for running so we'll just select it in this first window don't do anything keep it default press ok and then we are inside the pycharm environment all right uh, this is done 
now we will open the project we downloaded which is here in my case right so all the files are there so we'll just click on open here in PyCharm and browse all the way so I know my files are stored in my folder of downloads within download I have this uh, <coughs> apologies I have this uh, easy bot so I'll just highlight this and press OK it is a security warning here I will trust the project because I know this is from a reliable source and then once we are done we are inside the uh, what do you call this the 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 code which is for the board as you can see here for example this is the code we don't need to look at this we need to focus only a file called config this is where we will uh, define our specific profile so first thing is very I mean this file is as a whole is very easy so here we'll put the email that we used for LinkedIn and then the, uh, the password then here for example if I am interested in remote jobs I will make it true otherwise I'll make it false and then what level I'm targeting entry level uh, associate senior and what and so on what type of job I'm looking for full-time or contractual part-time volunteer very easy you just have to do true and false and then the time the date was posted like doesn't matter whenever it was posted or you want to apply only on the jobs which were posted recently so again very simple straightforward selections here uh, uh, it's, it's not difficult you just have to mention the positions you're targeting so you will have to remove the hash sign because hash makes it inactive so you'll say for example if you're looking for a job as sales officer so that's one title you can also have business development and so on so basically the bot will apply uh, all on the jobs which have a title matching to these entries you will make all right then the second option is location straightforward you can just say which country you're looking for that's australia canada saudi arabia and if you can even put cities uh, right so this is uh, very again straightforward uh, configuration this one is about distance so you can just put like 100 is the maximum limit so this is gonna post jobs i mean this is gonna apply on jobs which are posted within 100 per, uh, kilometers per meter from these locations you will specify so max is 100 and the lowest is 25 then if you want to if you don't want to apply on jobs posted by some companies like say your own company or my current employer right so of course you don't want to blow the cover uh, so we will just put your current company name or whatever you want to put if you don't like some companies or if you've worked in the past in some companies just keep adding you just have to do it with hyphen and make sure you remove the pound sign or hash sign all right and in the same manner if you want to uh, blacklist some titles so you'll do the same uh, like let me do it this way so remove hash and then you say secretary for example so the bot will not apply on any job which begins with secretary and then everything else is very straightforward you can see there is description you can read it and decide your response accordingly now this is done uh, before we are able to run this bot we need to install some files called or dependencies actually call, uh, which, which are mentioned in the requirements list so we need to have these installed and that's the benefit of using ID, uh, IDE it will automatically detect that you have to install these files otherwise if you are using command line then you have to do it manually so just click there install plugins it will download some stuff from internet it may take a while so just uh, go for it as you can see it is downloading some stuff Mm. 
So it's again doing some work here, analyzing. Okay, it seems we are ready. So now we can select main, right click and run. So that's the now the bot is running, it is downloading some stuff. And uh, once it is ready, it will open a browser window, log in automatically and based on whatever parameters we defined, it will start applying on those jobs. Very straightforward process. So as you guys can see, it opened the LinkedIn. It is a small notice. It is being used by automated software. In this case, it will not log in because I have put the wrong email address and it will like sort of, you know, it's a dead end. But if you guys put your actual email and the password, then it will work. So I hope this quick video was useful. Try to use this specifically if you are targeting remote work, then this bot is a great tool because you don't have to spend hours applying on jobs manually. And finding jobs online is quite difficult as well, as we know that it's a huge competition in the market. So just let the bot run while you sleep or while you're gaming or doing some work. You can just let it run and minimize and the bot will take care of, uh, of the job applications. And uh, maybe you know, with luck, you might land yourself in a decent job. So lastly, thanks for watching and I hope this video helps. Bye.